Good afternoon, fourth graders. This lesson is 310. In this lesson, you're going to learn to read and write decimal numbers to the hundreds. The big focus, again, is to, for you to be able to name decimals using numerals, for you to be able to use the base 10 blocks to show decimal representations, for you to record decimals and fractions using words and numerals, and for you to shade grids and name decimal amounts using words and numerals. But first, let's get started with our mental math and fluency. What symbol should you use comparing these two numbers? Are you going to use the greater than symbol, the less than symbol, or the equal to's symbol? So let's take a look. The first one says 2,567, and the next one says 3,567. We look at the largest place value first, which is in the thousands place, 2 versus the 3. So 2,567 is less than 3,567. Again, we're comparing numbers. In the thousands place is an 8, so that's the same. In the next place value, we have a 0 and then a 6 on the right-handed number. So again, it's going to be that a less than symbol. And the final one, the thousands place is the same number. The hundreds place is the same number. The tens place is the same number. And it's the ones place that decides what sign we should use. And 1 is greater than 0, so it should be a greater than symbol. I want you to go to Math Masters, page 130. If you haven't stepped back to the back table to see me yet, you probably don't have this Math Masters page. So pause the recording now and come back and get it. What you're going to be doing on this page is you're going to enter the following numbers with digits. So for instance, 14 hundreds. We don't have any whole numbers, so we have a zero. Since we have the THS here, that tells me that I'm going to be using a decimal. And I write the number 14 hundredths. The one's in the tens place, the four is in the hundredths place. So I know that I wrote it correctly. The next one, four hundredths. Well, again, I don't have any whole numbers, so that's a zero first. I got the hundredths, so that's going to be a decimal point. If I wrote the four first, I would have the four in the tens place, but this says hundredths, so I know that the four cannot go there. So whatever is supposed to go in the tens place is a zero, and then the four goes in the hundredths place. Again, for tenths, well, I don't have any whole numbers. I have a decimal point. Again, I'm noticing that I have a THS. Four goes in the tenths place, and so the four goes right after the decimal point. Please do the next two numbers and then pause the recording, bring it up to me so that I can check it so I know that you understand it. So complete the rest of those problems on that Math Masters page 130. So you should have had these checked back at the table with me. 400 would have been written 400 since there aren't any THSs. If I was going to place a decimal in that number, it would go after the last zero. For hundredths, I'm sorry, and that says 40 hundredths, it is the number 40. The last number in 40 lands in that hundredths position, so it is zero whole numbers and 40 after the decimal to the right. 
And my last number was 40. Those should have been the answers that you had written. So how can you use our base 10 blocks to show that 0 0.4 is not equal to 0 0.04? Well, first of all, we would say this is 4 tenths. So you need to think about our longs, and that 4 tenths is 4 longs. And 4 hundredths, hundredths are the cubes. So it would be 4 of the cubes. So as you look at this, this is 4 tenths, meaning that it ta you have, I'm sorry, 4 longs. Notice here's 1. Then we have two, then we have three, we have four. And how many would we need to fill out this? Ten. So you have four out of the ten. Where four hundredths means you only have four of these little cubes out of a hundred cubes it takes to fill this flat. So how can you use fractions to show four tenths is greater than four hundredths? Just like you're saying it. Four tenths. is greater than four hundredths. You write it exactly as you say it. So as you notice, you're going to work with a partner and pick up a handful of cubes and place them on the square grid on Math Masters page TA29. And then you're going to record your work in the table below. So for instance, let's say that you picked up 13 cubes. You would write that you have 13 hundredths. If we were to color in this grid or place them on the grid, you would notice that if you put 13 on your grid, you would have this covered up with cubes. How many tenths is that? Well, the one is in the tenth spot, so you have one tenth. How many hundredths? What number is in the hundredths spot? Three. So you have one tenth, three hundredths, which equals thirteen hundredths, which is written zero point one three. And how do I write that as a fraction? Exactly as I say it, thirteen hundredths. If there isn't anyone else available for you to do this with, please come back to the table and bring the small cubes with you and I will do it with you. So pause the tape now, go get a handful and a rather, rather large handful of the cubes and bring them up to the table and I will do this sheet with you if no one else is available. Again, this is the worksheet that you would be working on. Here are some possible answers that you may have acquired while covering up the grid. To cover up the grid in order for you to be able to write them in decimal notation and as fractions. The exit slip paper is here and I'm going to have you not do that right now. Rounding properties, um, list polygons, and the number of polygons captured is not something also that we're doing right now. So we're going to move on to Math Journal page 94. And in Math Box 1, it reads, Kim had the following packages of rubber bands. Five 10 packs three 1,000 packs, and eight 100 packs. Write the total number of rubber bands in expanded form. So this is going to take you two steps. First, you need to multiply five times 10, three times 1,000, and eight times 100, and write those totals down here add them together, 
and then write that in expanded form. Pause the recording now and do A. Letter B. Carrie has these boxes of nails. 30 100 nail boxes, 10 1000 nail boxes, and 4 10 nail boxes. What you need to do is you need to multiply 30 times 100 plus 10 times 1000 plus 4 times 10. Write the total number of nails in expanded form. So pause the recording now and do letter B. When you've finished with those two problems, please make sure to bring it up to me to make sure that you understand it. Once I've checked those two problems, you're going to come back to your desk and finish Math Journal page 93. I want to make sure that you understand, I'm sorry, 94. I want to make sure that you understand what you're doing and that you have mastered the skills that are on that page. So pause the recording now, go to Math Journal page 94, and come back and check it with me when you are finished. So the final thing you're going to do is you're going to do Math Masters, page 132. And it reads, write the decimal numbers that represent the shaded part in the diagram. So it's asking you, how many hundredths are filled in? Well, this is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56. You have 57 hundredths. So you're going to write the number 57. First 57 hundredths. Next on the page, it's going to ask you how many tenths is that and how many hundredths is that? Well, 57 hundredths tells me that the 5 is in the tenths place and the 7 is in the hundredths place. You're going to do 2 and 3 exactly the same as you did number 1. Number 4 says, write the words in decimal numbers. So this time you have to make sure that you use a decimal. So 23 hundredths. Well, I know I don't have any holes. I got hundredths, so 2 is in the tenths, 3 is in the hundredths, so I would write 23 hundredths as such. Please finish this page, Math Masters, page 132. And when you're done, bring it up to me and I will check it. And you will move on then to 311. Thank you.